Lot 18 and 19, final pin of crossbreds and final pin of the sale. Uh, 38 litter gilts. Uh, we talked about the three uh, litter mate barras there. Uh, earlier, a very, very deep litter of pigs sired by promotion, the Trace Amigos boar uh, that we used uh, quite a bit there. Uh, pigs are showing. I've been very successful. Um, and I think uh, predictability of, of these pigs has been uh, exactly what we wanted. Uh, put some eggs back in that basket for this little crop and then our, our summer crop as well. Mother's a next intention, undisputed. Uh, she's the Everhart gilt from 2021 from Kilmer. Uh, she was third overall uh, crossbred gilt there at the Expo when it was in Indy last time, and then third overall crossbred gilt to Indiana State Fair. Done a good job generating and, and making some uh, uh, feedable kind of pigs, and I think the promotion line on this uh, has worked extremely well well and promotions worked uh, well for for Kilmer uh, had some winning jackpot pigs as well so uh, like this pair of gilts a little different in their size different in their type and kind we're going to start with this uh, dash seven be lot 18 gilt uh, the bigger gilt uh, of the pair obviously uh, offers the look and, and stoutness ahead the the uh, the heaviness of structure we like to see she's square out of her hind legs she's level I think she's one you can feed on and push on if she's going to show a jackpot going to go September October November uh, she needs to go past that as a, as a big uh, mature show guild into into the December setting. I think she's uh, able to do that because she's elevated. She's got some stretch to her, but she's still really heavy structure. She's square-legged and square underneath, uh, still immature in her type and kind. I like that guild. Uh, uh, her predictability of her pedigree uh, is exactly kind of what we were hoping, uh, but she starts out about her head in an immature kind of a package. I think going to be an incredibly kind of a, a big ring uh, uh, show guild, but still uh, have a, a lot of breeding value when you're said and done with that heaviness the structure and squareness that she offers. Uh, this lot 19 gill is uh, very, very unique. Uh, I like, uh, uh, we like this gill a lot. As I said, they've been out of the nursery about uh, eight days, but uh, she sticks out uh, uh, with that pedigree. Uh, she is heavy, heavy structured. She's killer looking, great proportion. Uh, she's hairy. She's got a big hind leg, and I think one that uh, uh, balances up in terms of her head and neck and her, and her body length and proportions awesome. Uh, she's a gilt that's going to last as long as you want her to. Uh, she's going to jackpot to, if you want to show her a, a 25 pounder here in a couple weeks I think she'll be competitive uh, if you got to show against that particular size but I think her uh, uh, her longevity and what she can do in the ring is a big one on down the way she gets into the cold months I think pretty easy um, because she is uh, proportionally uh, long fronted uh, right length of body uh, and right frame size with that kind of look, that kind of dimension, heaviness of structure, looseness, flexibility, and width underneath for one at that maturity pattern. I think it's incredibly good uh, after feeding some of the promotion. She's the right type and kind to go as long as you want to. I think she could show as a lightweight in, in the fall months, but get into the winter months, no question at all. I like that gilt quite a bit, and I like this uh, this litter a lot. Uh, this pair of gilts are different, different endpoints, but I think very, very high quality. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Austin uh, in this particular group. Thank you.